What is up, everybody? Back with some more NBA best bets. I got five plays for you guys today. Hopefully, we can sweep the board. Went five and one yesterday on our free picks. If you count our chalkboard ladder challenge, so we cast our chalkboard ladder challenge. I'm gonna pull it up right here. You can see we had Curry, had Austin Reeves. The Austin Reeves play was the sweatiest thing ever. I promise. He had 16 PR with 10 seconds left in the game and then got fouled. So if the game wouldn't have been as close as it was, Reeves definitely wouldn't have cashed that. It's honestly just, I thought that one was gonna be a lot, really. Especially, if I didn't know LeBron was gonna play or not, and he ended up playing, which ended up hurting the play. But 17 and a half was still low, but he cashed it, he got 18, so he cashed day one of the ladder challenge. If y'all wanna get in on the ladder challenge, sign up for Chalkboard, uh, to be in our free plays every single day in the Discord, so make sure you guys uh, join the Discord as well. And uh, hopefully we can catch some more of them. We made it to day four last time before we missed. but And we missed because KD missed one bucket. We needed one one more shot from KD. But anyway, four and one yesterday if you count just from the videos. Claxton was the only one that missed. He had 11 and we took him under 11 and a half rebounds. He had 11 at halftime. He still only ended with, I think, I think it was 13. He may have got another one in overtime. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, it was a sweat because he didn't have, he only had 11 rebounds still with like two minutes left in the fourth quarter. But Anyway, Claxton sold a sweep, 4-1, and 5-1 and one, if you want to count the chalkboard ladder challenge. Can't complain at all about that. Hopefully, we can get that sweep going, guys. So, Anyway, if you want to get all of our picks and plays, head on over to our Patreon. $25 a month, you get every single play we and the mods post. So uh, really excited about that. Make sure you guys uh, join up. Anyways, last plug of the day. If you guys want to... Uh, know what websites we're using in these videos this one is called dgf fantasy this is a website it takes props from all of our little betting apps like prize picks underdogs got parlay play better sleeper you can see all of them right here you can click the one you want and it'll give you props directly from that app compared directly back to sportsbook betting uh, sites like um fanduel DraftKings, just things like that all the a lot of the the uh, popular ones gives you a positive ev value like this one right here fox and booker over Five, four and a half three point made combination slip. This is on prize picks, 58% chance to hit. So it gives you a bunch of these plays. You can line shop, you can pick the ones you like. It just makes researching a lot easier. So if you guys want to get a 25% off discount on DGF Fantasy, make sure you guys use our link down in the description. It is code ACES if you just want to type in the code. But code ACES, you get 25% off. The only other one is called outlier.bet. This is the one we use to show charts. So I can pull it up here. You can see all the charts for like Sabonis and stuff like that. But anyway. If you guys want to get a seven-day free trial of this one, link's down in the description as well. But All right, let's jump into these free picks, guys. So the first one is going to be our DGF play of the day. The DGF play of the day is not a research pick from myself. This one comes directly from the DGF website. I not It's not my pick, obviously. I like it right now, Booker and Fox. I just saw this, did not know that it was on here, so hopefully it's on there. I actually like that play, 58% chance. So that's probably going to be the DGF play of the day. I am going to hit refresh real quick to make sure it's still on here. And it does not look like it is. I'm going to I'm gonna come over here and check real quick. So, uh, uh, points combo, three-point combo, Booker. They got it up bump to five. So, yeah, four and a half was a lot better. Uh, you can see that's why it got removed. So, these things will update, like, every second. So, if you hit refresh, it will come down if it's not on here anymore, if it got removed. So, anyway, let's see here. They got Tobias Harris, Joker. Lots of unders. So they do have Sabonis over seven and a half assists at 53%. And you can click underdog here. I do underdog a lot too, because underdog sometimes has better value than prize picks. <clears throat> Let's take Harden over RA. So 13 and a half. We've played this one a lot. It's 54% chance to go over. I like to play with Harden a lot anyway. He usually gets a lot of assists. So I'm going to lock that one in. Obviously, it's not going to be on prize picks yet, or it would have been up here too. I just don't want to take too much time looking at these plays. But anyway, Harden uh, over 13 and a half assists and rebounds. We're going to just go lock that one in. I like to play, actually. So I'll just pick random ones from there. I have to kind of like it a little bit for me to feel comfortable taking it. But 57% to go over, minus 130 DraftKings. Look at here. He's cashed it in seven of his last 10 games on the season. He's cashed it 17 of 34, which you guys know we had a really, really slow start with the Clippers this season. So uh, he's been doing good lately. Head to head, they are playing against uh, OKC tonight. So it should be a decently competitive game. Hopefully it's not a blowout. It really depends on how OKC and Clippers play tonight. But uh, anyway, the only game this season they had, he had 15. So good uh, value here. He had, looking at OKC's defense, they give up 25th in the league in rebounds, 17th in assists, giving up quite a bit. Green in the number, 17 in assists, which is middle of the pack. 
you go to shooting guard position, 19 and 24, so it just reverses. The assist number is better for Harden, per, in my opinion. So having a higher, giving up more assists to that position, position is better, in my opinion. So like Harden a lot. Going to lock him in over 13 and a half rebounds and assists. And I have to log in to Underdog, which I forgot to do. So I'll pause the video. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we are logged into Underdog. We'll pull up Harden right here. 13 and a half RA, it is on here. We'll jump over to prize picks really fast, do the same thing. I have a feeling Harden's not gonna be on this one. 14, so it does add push potential. Um, I like the number at 14 still. I think he can get at least 14. So I'm gonna lock in 14 on prize picks. Definitely would prefer getting it on either, um, probably get it on a sleeper chalkboard or obviously underdog for less. So I would definitely lock it in there first, but I don't think 14 is a bad play either. So gonna lock that one in. Jumping into our second play of the day. This one is gonna be for our boy, Paul George. We're gonna be locking him in over two and a half assists. So really like this play a lot. We played this one the other night at Cash for us. So 61% chance to go over according to Outlier. So very good value here. Minus 158, minus 160 DraftKings. If you pull this up, he's cashed in six of his last 10 games. He's cashed in 65% on the season, 24 of 37 games. Should be a competitive game, like I said, against OKC. He's hit this in three of his last five. So looking at his three of his last five, he did have zero that one game. But, uh, he averages almost four assists on the season. So two and a half is a little bit low. He had four assists in his only game versus OKC this season. And his last three matchups, he's had he's had at least three against them. You can see the other two from last season, or one was from 2022. But anyway, he uh, has cashed it a lot versus OKC. You can see OKC gives up 17th in the league in assists. If you go over to a small forward, they give up second. So they don't give up a lot to this position. But it is our boy PG. I think he can get three fours tonight, and I'm going to be taking the chance on him with a 60% chance according to Outlier. So Paul George over two and a half assists is going to be the next play. Wouldn't be surprised if this one is not on these two sites. Yeah, this might be one of those sleeper slash chalkboard plays. I feel like it might get posted at three. It'll probably get bumped to three on these sides. You know, at three, I think it's going to be okay to take as well. Adds push potential. So if you're going from a 0.5 to a zero, you're good. If you ever go from like a zero to a 0.5, don't take it. Don't take those bumps. Just uh, keep that in mind if you can, if that makes sense to you guys. But uh, over two and a half assists for a man PG. Going to lock that one in. I'm sorry it's not on price picks or underdog right now. So hopefully it does come back up there. So next play of the day is going to be for our boy Fox. We're locking in our man Fox over eight and a half rebounds and assists. Now this is one I don't think a lot of people are going to like. 56% chance to go over, minus 130 of DraftKings. So Fox, this number is really low. And the reason it's low is because he's missed it in six, what is that, uh, five of his last six games he's missed this. So this number used to sit at right 10 and a half, 10 and a half but uh, because of his recent misses, it's coming back down. He's missed it in four of his last five. But uh, I'm, I'm going to go with the much larger sample size. He uh, has a huge 32% usage rate. His assists usually come up. They will come up definitely when people start making their shots. But you see 11, 11, 13. He used to cash it quite a bit. You can see this 20 in some of these games. So the number has only come down because of recent play. And I think it's going to be a competitive game. I don't think uh, I don't think they're going to get blew out unless Durant comes out and drops freaking 50 PR, which is possible after selling me last time. But uh, anyway, I think Fox is going to be able to get nine for us tonight. You can see uh, Suns give up second and eight when it comes to rebounds and assists at point guard position. They give up 13th and 17th, so a lot better there, middle, middle of the pack in each. I think nine is going to be low for our man Fox. I think he can definitely get it. He's going to be getting a lot more assists, I think, and. Uh, I think he's going to have a good game tonight. So, locking in Fox over eight and a half rebounds and assists. I will pull this one up over on DGF because I think it's going to be on on these other sites. So, they have nine. So, it did add, it did go up to nine. They have under at 51%. So, they're definitely leaning towards the under according to, out, or according to DGF. I don't like the under. I like the over. So, I'm going to lock it in. If you want to fade the plays, you are more than welcome. So, nine RA. I don't like taking bumps. It is eight and a half on sleeper, so I would get it on sleeper if you have sleeper. And it's nine on prize picks. So much of that better value there. Probably can get a better alt line on chalkboard too. So if you have an Apple device, get chalkboard, man. I'm telling you guys. Get in on the, on the ladder challenge and you get a free month of VIP. Quick disclaimer, if you sign up for any of our partner dApps and to make a $10 deposit other than Parlay Play, if Parlay Play is $20, but if you make, a, make the minimum deposit, sign up with one of our apps, you get a free month of VIP as well as your deposit match. So money gets doubled and you get a free month so make sure you guys do that 
But uh, that is going to be pick number three of the day. The next two picks are going to be over on college basketball. Had some people asking for college a lot lately. I like these two college plays. There's not a whole lot. Of, there's only three games a night in NBA, so don't want to give out too many of those plays. Not a whole lot that I really like. But uh, these two college plays I like a lot. So first one is going to be for our man. I'm going to try to say his name because I really don't know how. It's Dalton Connett or Nett. I'm not real sure. So we're just going to call him Dalton. So pick up our boy Dalton here. We locked him in over 23 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. 53% chance right here. You can see he's cashed it in four of his last 10 games. He's cashed it in seven of 16 on the season. So hasn't been going over this a lot. He does have some really big games with 43 and 46 PRA. Looking at who they're playing. Playing against Florida. They give up 293rd in, in the nation in uh points and 141 in rebounds 56 in assists so because a ton of points middle of the pack rebounds not a many assists but um anyway had, uh, this game has 159 point total so it's a pretty high scoring game for college he's been uh dalton's been huge since this con conference play started you see his last two games he's cashed just in 35 and 43 so two big games in a row and uh those were against Mississippi State and Georgia. So I think he's going to have another big game tonight. I think uh, he's going to be able to cash this versus this Florida team. So I'm going to lock him in over 23.5 point re points, rebounds, and assists. I'll pull it up over here, but I don't think it pops up. It never pops up for me when I do uh, college for some reason. So 23.5 PRA, it is on here. We'll jump over to prize picks, college basketball. Connect 23.5. And there we go. Got him locked in. So that is pick number four. Fifth and final pick of the day for college basketball is going to be for our man Miller. We got Emmanuel Miller over one and a half assists. So 62% chance for this to go over. Minus 178 odds on Caesar. So really good value here. He's cashed this as nine of his last 10. He's cashed it in 15 of 16 games on the season. So it doesn't get any better than that, man. 94% hit rate this season. They are playing against uh, uh, Cincinnati, who gives up 140th assists in the uh, nation. But... Anyway, Miller's had two assists in 16 and 17 on the season. Averaged 2.8 assists per game on the season. So it's a good game environment. This game has 150 point total. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if this number gets removed or bumped. We locked this one, this one in on sleeper. So this one probably won't be on prize picks if I had to guess. But maybe underdog has it. Wouldn't be surprised if it was at two. So they don't have assists. Now I got taken down. They have PRA, rebounds, uh, rebounds and assists. How many rebounds does he average? I haven't looked up rebounds for him, actually. Whoa. I'm just doing this to see if RA would be another alternative play that we could take. Rebounds. So under. So they're not banking on him to get less than six and a half, which means if he gets six and then two, he'd only have eight, which would uh, push this number, which is okay. I don't really like that. I like the assist a lot better, obviously. But, um,. Miller, no assists. So it's got, it did get taken down, or it's not on here right now anyway. Hopefully it comes back up. Sleeper, I have it. I mean, they may have taken it down on Sleeper too. That's a really good prop. <laughs> we cast it in uh, 16 to 17 games on the season. It's hard for them to give us this value for long. So, um, But Emmanuel Miller is going to be our fifth and final play of the day. So hopefully we can sweep the board, guys. So we got our plays here. We got our man James Harden, over 13 and a half rebounds and assists. We got our boy Fox. Over eight and a half rebounds and assists. We had Paul George over two and a half assists. Dalton over 23.5 points, rebounds, and assists. And then our fifth and final play was Emmanuel Miller over one and a half assists. So those are our five plays. Hopefully we can sweep the board. I hate when some of these aren't on these apps. I, I wish Sleeper or Chalk Ward had a website so I could pull it up on there too just to show the value. But uh, I will pull up the two slips so you can see we did lock them in. So this is our college basketball slip. We got it on... Um, on Sleeper as well, use code ACES, get a free month of VIP. Then our other other slip was on Sleeper as well, Paul George and Fox, two and a half and eight and a half. And the reason we locked some of these on Sleeper, man, is just because of the value. Like, why would I lock, it, lock in on nine on Underdog if I can get it at eight and a half? It just doesn't make sense. So definitely recommend having more than one platform that you play on. But uh, anyways, guys, those are our five plays. Hope you have a great day, and uh, I'll see y'all in tomorrow's video.